Guys, welcome back. This is code turn round six, and we're gonna solve the first problem that is maximized array. So let's quickly see what the problem states. So you have three numbers that is n, k, and x. Now, you they n means it is the number of elements in the array, number of elements in array. K means it is the max value. We'll see what is max, and x represents the highest or the maximum possible number that is available in the array. That should be part of the array. Now, what is the meaning of max? Max generally means that it is the smallest non-negative integer that is not present in the array. So, suppose two to one is there. What is the smallest non-negative integer? Zero is not present. Three one zero one. In this case, zero one three is present, but two is not present. So, two is the max. Zero one two three, which is the smallest non-negative integer, four. So, that is generally max. Now, our question is, you need to find a sum of an array. Such that if you form an array, the max value of the array should be k, and uh, the values that are present in the array should have an at max value of only x. The goal of this problem is we need to maximize this sum. So for example, let's see that is five three three. So they told that n is five, max value. This is max value is three, and x is the highest or the maximum possible that is allowed is three. So I need five elements here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, first things first. Uh, if I want to get a max value of three, I need at least three elements, right? What are those three elements? Zero, one, two. Zero, one, four. Is it possible to have a max value of three? Not possible. I need at least if max. This is max means if k is three means I need at least zero to k minus one. So I will fix zero, one, two here. Okay. Now, whatever be the maximum value that I'm not caring, but now I got one condition. They also told that if the answer is not possible, just say that it is minus one. So in this case, if I am getting, I need at least uh, these values, right? So if n is less than max, okay. If n is less than max, then I can definitely say that it's minus one. If max value is hundred and n value is only three, zero one two, I can't make it as hundred, right? So n is less than x. I got one condition that is minus one. Now let's think about a general case. Max value is three. What did they say? Let's see. They took two 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 here. So two two they filled. How did they fill? They in order to maximize the sum, they told that max is the limit here. I want. I can't take three since three is the max value. If I put three here, max becomes four, right? I can't take. So I take the second uh, maximum value that is two and populate it here. But generally, if max value is thirty, what will I do? Zero, one, two. I'll fill thirty and thirty here, right? Zero, one, two. Max value became three. Then whatever number I fill, I don't have any problem. So how will I code this here? So I write a loop from i equal to zero to i equal to n. This is my from my initial observation. Now. Till when can I fill i value? Sum plus e equal to i. Sum plus e equal to i. Okay. So that is sum plus e equal to zero. Sum plus e equal to one. Sum plus e equal to two. We don't have to output there. We just need to know the sum. So when is this condition possible? That is when max value when i is less than max value. Do I make sense? Till i touches the max value, i can take zero one two. That is at least possible. Now. If what if i is greater than or equal to max? If i uh, suppose in this max, uh, sorry, uh, in this max value, if i is greater than or equal to three means if i is at the third position, I can say simply put the max value directly. So that is if i is greater than or equal to max, I can simply say that you just sum it with the max value. So do I make sense? I need at least zero to k minus one to fill the arrays. And then what we got the max value as that. Then I am simply filling the max values. So that is the i less than max. This one, this one, it's done. Then we got one condition. But are there any other conditions? So we saw here, if the max value is here, right? If the max value is three, we cannot put three here. If we put three here, the max value becomes four. So in this case, what is the condition? If max value And the max value is same. If the maximum value and max value is same, I can simply decrement the max value. That is, if it is three, I can simply decrement it to two. Then fill two two here. So that is one more condition. Now we understood that if maximum is same, I want to decrease my max, and 
if max value is 30 no problem i can directly go but what if max value is lesser that is let's say for example i have a max value of like 5 but max value is 3 n value is something like 10 or something okay so in order to get 5 what do i do 0 1 2 3 4 anywhere i need okay anywhere i need then i fill some numbers that is max value i can put but the problem here is in order to get the max value as 5 i need this 4 also right but they told that the maximum value allowed in the array is only 3. Here itself I should stop. This 4 is not possible. So this condition is also not possible. So what is this condition? If max value equal to equal to max is fine. If max value, so how do I write? If max value minus max value, that is 5 here is the max. If max value minus the max value is greater than 1. If it is equal to equal to 1, I am handling it. If it is greater, that is also fine but if max minus max is greater than one that is i need at least four it is not possible i can simply print minus one so we got all the solution now we'll just combine it together and just see what did we do max minus maximum suppose max is five and the max value is three i need that four in that array but it is not possible so it's minus one n is less than x that is if max is three and uh, uh, 0, 1, 2, anywhere I need, but n is obviously lesser. If max value is 100, n value is only 3, it's not possible. So these are minus 1. Max and max is same means the max allowed is only that max value, but max should not come in that array. So in that case, I just decrement to one number and then go in. And this is the standard way, what I told earlier. Uh, till we touch the max, we simply add 0, 1, 2 like that. Then after we, when we touch the max and uh, it goes to the n elements you just simply put the maximum values it doesn't make any difference so that's about it but there is one homework that you can try is instead of doing this for loop you can simply do this with n into n plus 1 by 2 with this formula you can just shrink it but that i'm not sharing in the video let me know down in the comments uh, how do you do this in this way the sum of n numbers sum of i numbers you can take and then max into something divided by 2 right so you can just try out and let me know in the comments we'll see so this is the submission link i'll attach it in the description until then see you in the next video thank you